Michael and Niambi. How are you guys doing today? I'm good well, day. how are you doing? I am doing great. I cannot believe that The Good Fight is ending in a few short weeks. It was a wonderful series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, hard, it's hard to believe because it's been such a big part of, of both of our lives, all of our lives that, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, my first question is this. This season tackles a lot of current topics, Roe versus Wade, the voting rights, Cold War aggressions, Atifa, and much, much more. The question I have is how important it is to create such storylines that reflect on what's happening in the world of today. I, I think it's important. I think it's important in terms of uh, uh, you bring up the topic, right? You bring up the subject, and then you explore it from different uh, vantage points, different angles, and you have a discussion about it, which is something that, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we used to have uh, amongst friends or uh, amongst family where people had different, uh, you know, points of views, um, and we would discuss it. And then, and then, and then, once the discussion was done, we'd leave it there, and and then, you know, we can go on and go and you know have fun with each other, or whatever you know, do the other activities, and know that there's nothing personal. Unfortunately, now things have gotten personal to where. Um, if I have an idea or I have, I have a, 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 a perspective, I have to have it with other like-minded people. I can't have a discussion with, with, uh, with uh, someone who has a differing idea. And so you never get to see uh, a scenario in your own life where you are having that discussion with someone who may have a differing point of view. Whereas the show does that. It puts you in, it, it puts you in the room and then it says, all right, here are all these different uh, you know, points of view go at it. And, uh, and I, I think that's why it's important um, to, uh, to face all these subject matters. I, I love it because as, as I've always said, um, even in the very first season, I remember sort of looking around and thinking to myself, wow, I am on a grown up show. I'm on a mm -hmm. grown up show. I, we are talking about stuff and we're talking about things that, yeah, we've always talked about as a society, but for some strange reason, probably because of the, like the reasons that Nambi was citing, mm -hmm. suddenly things became off limits and suddenly you can't mm -hmm. talk about this or you don't talk about this. And it's, and I simply appreciated the fact that the writers of this show, the Kings, Robert and Michelle and the writers, they took for granted that the audience were adults. This is what's mm -hmm. really happening. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about racism. Let's talk about ab abortion, all of it. And, and so, I came away feeling, even if I didn't necessarily have anything to do with one particular storyline or another, that man, I am on a show that is pushing forward several conversations yeah. that we as Americans and as humans at this point need to be having. Absolutely, I definitely agree with you. And it's great that it's groundbreaking and it tackles those subjects. My next question to both of you is, what do you feel is the greatest challenge of your characters for the final season? And Michael, I'm gonna start with you this time. Um, my challenge uh, this season is discovering where to go when his conservative sort of bona fides have failed him, have wound him, you know, put him in jail and then he was, pardoned by Trump, all of which was very confusing, but also mm -hmm. still being loyal to these people. There are actually scenes coming up, I won't give away too much, where Julius is involved with the opposite party, opposite to him, in trying to figure out how to fix the Democrats in a very, in a very sort of weird way. And I, and, and I just, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, that old phrase, politics makes strange bedfellows. That could have been the title of that episode because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm advising Diane Lockhart, like, do you really think that's a good idea? What about this? How about, and she's, and we're listening to each other, which is kind of, to, to Niambi's point, earlier point, that's the way it used to be here. We, in this country, yeah. we used to be able to have these conversations. Yeah, sometimes you would argue, but no one pulled out a gun. No one, you know, no one, no one, you know, egged your house or whatever, whatever it is these silly people are doing. So, yeah. You went I, from gun, huh, gun, gun to, to egg. egg in the house. Yeah. That's, 
Both but egging your house, but if someone eggs your house, they don't like you. So go ahead. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of worse things I could have. Yeah, true, true, true. So I just I've just always appreciated that, like, oh, we're at one point I looked around and I, I've said this to Niambi in the past. I think you were even in the scene where there were several scenes on this show. I look around me. We were in an office full of beautiful young black people as all the young associates. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm standing with Niambi Niambi, Audra McDonald, uh, uh, whoever else was in. And, I'm, and I looked around and went, well, where's the white gaze? There's no, there's no white gaze. Mm. There's no, and by white gaze, I mean, that I realize how that sounds, but where is the, you know, there were no white people, no white characters called for in that moment. Mm -hmm. And the show continued and it didn't collapse and it didn't burst into flame. And we talked about the, the different class, the class system in the black community. And I, at some point like, wow, are we really talking about this stuff? So I'm really proud to have been a part of that kind of thing. Absolutely. Yeah, but what would you like to add? Uh, is this, repeat the question again. Sorry. The question is, um, what do you feel your greatest challenge for your character this final season? Uh, I think uh, the greatest challenge for Jay is the fact that um, you know we you you know we go on this con this continuous loop of um, uh, here's the problem, uh, you know, fight the problem, solve the problem. Here's the problem, fight the problem, solve the problem. You know. Is the problem, fight the problem, solve the problem, but then the problem comes back. So that's always, you know, in, within it. And so you're fighting this, it seems like you're fighting the same issue and not really actually, it's like Batman against the Joker. He, 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 he um, you know, he, he fights the Joker, uh, he puts the Joker in jail, the Joker gets out, we're doing, we're doing it all again. You know, and it's like, well, why don't you just get rid of the Joker? You know, that's always been the issue, right? Um, and I think um, he comes up against that. Uh, this season where it's just finally finally like wait a minute okay uh, we're, we're just going in circles in terms of uh, you know, all of these issues I, I want to find a way to actually make a difference that's lasting you know and I think that's the uh, that's the journey uh, for uh, for Jay uh, in terms of what he wants um, what he wants out of um, uh, is life as we, we move up beyond the uh, the good fight. Absolutely. And it's going to be hard to say goodbye to both your characters and the rest of the cast on November 3rd. And Michael and Niambi, thank you so much for giving us six wonderful seasons of this series. Thank you. No, so thank much. you. Thank you thank so you much. for having us. You're welcome. Have a great day. Yeah. And you good too. luck. Thank you. Thank you, Dean.